Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and in today's video we are going to be discussing about which vehicle can indeed go to rank 8 if I mean uh, when the update comes out. Now Gaijin has indeed confirmed that we are a dev blog that rank 8 for Grand RB will be coming. Now I'm pretty sure with rank 8 they will increase the BR so I feel like they're gonna go increase it to 12.3 so they can match up with the new tier jets. Now the first way a uh, nation I'll be going nation wise I'll be discussing every nation's ground forces and be discussing which vehicles are more likely to go to rank 8. Now the first thing I would like to say is that the HSTVL is and most likely the XM109 uh, are most likely to go to rank 8. Now I do have a bit of dilemma between this. I feel like they will only take the M1 HU SEP but then that will go against their rule. I mean basically their pathway towards foldering more and more vehicles so I feel like they'll basically take both of these uh, tanks and put them to rank 8. Now that's for the US tech tree now we'll head on over to Germany. Now in the German tech tree which I have not even been close to uh, fully grinding yet I feel like the Leopard 2 PSO and the f uh, oh my god that's uh, I will not try to pronounce the name but I feel like these two, uh, only these two will go to rank 8 because there's no other like basically light tank and uh, anti-aircraft, uh, I mean anti-tank. Heading over to Russia, the Pansir S1, the TATB VM and the most, I, most likely the T72 B3 are most likely to go to rank 8 now. They do have interesting, basically, uh, how do I say it? Basically, they have interesting premium vehicles, but I don't feel like they'll go to rank it. Now, getting over to Britain, uh, the Challenger 2E with the Black Knight, as I said, the folded vehicle with the ADATs, just like the Americans, will most likely go to rank H as well with the Challenger 2 OES, which is for golden eagles which will be rank 7 and for japan of course the t uh, kx with the type 10 and no i don't feel like the type 81c will go to rank 8 but i feel like the tkxp will also go to rank 8 in china we uh, i feel like this uh, ztz 99a with the WK1001 ELCT with the Tor M1 will go to rank 8 because these three are really good tanks. Now in the Italian tech tree I feel like uh, at least one tank from the Hungary will go to rank 8 is just my opinion so I feel like the KF41 will go but I feel like the BR will remain same but Maybe, maybe not and the automatic I am not that sure but I feel like it's gonna stay at rank 7. Now the Ariti M uh, AMV uh, with the I feel like the Senchara 120mm will go to rank 8. Now coming over to France the Lecrec AZUR with the HEO POM will go to rank 8 but the thing about France is that there aren't very, I mean, there aren't a lot of vehicles anyway, so I feel like they will try to add more French vehicles. Now, in Sweden, which they have a lot of, the ITO 90M with the CV90120 with the folded vehicle of the STRV122 PLS with the Leopard 2A6, according to me, will go to rank 8 now that's a lot of vehicles going to rank 8 from Sweden now of course in Israel only one tank which is the Mogawa 4M now the thing about which I just discussed was I just did it really quickly so I could just give you a grain of salt these are my assumptions these are what I feel like these vehicles will go because 
I feel like that the HST VL, as you can see, I just grinded basically without going to the M112A, the M1HC, and the M1A2 step. Same thing as that. I feel like these vehicles, uh, Gaijin will try to basically want uh, players to unlock the other vehicle before they get to these uh, other very better like vehicles. Now, this will make the grind harder, of course, it will. But uh, according to me, it is good because players will go across other vehicles, but it will also be bad for people like in Germany who just want to go to the Leopard 2 PSO directly, they will not be able to do it anymore. We have to research at least some other vehicles in rank 7. Now, these are just my opinions. Uh, this might just it will change most likely so just take it with a grain of salt and before uh, i finish the video um, as we know 2023 is coming to an end and i'm currently sitting at around 173 172 subscribers and it would really mean the absolute world to me if you could subscribe and we could reach 200 subscribers by the end of this year also i am doing an event too actually so I'm doing two events, so if you're interested, just check out my Discord server. And yeah, that's all for today. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.